Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Today is Tuesday. Thanks <laughs> so forget. much for joining yeah. us. <laughs> I don't know who I am today. Ta da! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quickie with me. Okay. All right. Got a post it note on her forehead. She forgot she couldn't see her forehead. So, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad place to put a post it. Yep. <laughs> Just saying. So today is Tuesday. Thanks again for coming along and listening to our crazy stories. All this week, we're just talking about the favorite episodes. If you missed yesterday, you really need to go back and check that out because those are the two of my all-time favorite episodes that we've done so far to this point in time. (laughs) It wasn't that big a deal. It was just some John mistakes and people and skateboards and a little wall pee and stuff like that. So today we're going to talk about the crazy cars. Do you remember this episode, John? <laughs> yeah, I still I recall one part of it. Uh, <laughs> you got started and were unable to <coughs> unstart. <laughs> <laughs> the, the part that I remember the most was when I'm trying to you need to go back and listen to the episode, but I'm trying to. We should. You should tell them what the epi- you should tell them what the episode's called. Mostly. It's called Crazy Cars. Okay. <laughs> the episode. So I'm trying to describe to you what these pictures of these cars look like because I found ones that were just funny off the wall that people like drove or collected and whatnot. And this one, I can't. I couldn't figure out. Remember, I couldn't figure out what how to say VW bug, yeah. and I kept telling you, you know that game, slug bug. <laughs> I asked questions about that later on of my my middle boy, and apparently there is a stupid game where people go sitting just at random wherever they are. And all of a sudden, a VW drives by, so they punch somebody. It's like, what are you stupid? Who does that? Uh, everybody. I'm like, everybody. Yeah, everybody. I'm, like, I'm 50 some odd years old. And I have never, ever sat down with somebody who went, hey, look, VW, punch. I, 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 I have never done that. I did not realize that was a free. I mean, could you imagine someone like me? I mean, yeah. Oh, slug bug. Not in the face. Oh, there's rules? Okay. Sorry. Didn't know yeah. that. Didn't have a copy of the <laughs> Slug Bug rule. <laughs> so, yes, I found out Slug Bug apparently yeah. is a real thing. I wasn't lying. You thought I was making it up, didn't you? No, I thought it was a crazy, insane thing you do in Minnesota when it gets real, real snowy and nothing else to do. You go, look, well, there's, then I- a, there's a VW going by. That's amazing. It's not buried in the snow. Let me punch you in the face. I, I mean, <laughs> that well, sounds good. like something. Sure. Yeah, that's I mean, yeah. Punch buggy. That was yeah, their people name. People who met people who that's from the land of people who go, you, you ever go to the mall? Yeah, yeah. Does it drive you crazy? You go, yeah. You know what we should do? What? Let's take like 40 malls and we'll make them one. <laughs> and let's take like 10,000 people and stick them on one floor. And then we'll stick another 10,000 on another floor. And you know what we should let's Let's put a carnival inside of it. Yeah. Let's do that. When you walk oh, into America. a mall and all you hear is, you're like, oh my God, I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> Claims to fame, largest balloon factory in the world. Huh? <laughs> Biggest mall ever. So? <laughs> I'm, I wonder if it's, is it all just women in the mall there? At the mall, mall of America? Yeah. Because guys no. hate guys hate the mall. So what guy is going to go, you know what? I really hate the friggin' mall. You know what we should do? What? I found out there's a giant one that's the size of 50 other ones. Yeah. Let's go oh, there. There's lots of stuff for everybody to do at M-Way. It's not M-way, just shop. Wait, M-Way? What's M-Way? M-O-A. Mall oh, of America. Oh, you guys. Oh, you pull out the cool abbreviation. Yeah, we're going to do a MOA. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, me and kids gonna head over to Ma. Yeah, you know, get a fifteen dollar slice of pizza. Buy a roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. And go over to Moa. Yeah, I'm Moa. So if they get a 
If a hawk, well, you know, you know how, you know how, you know how uh, birds get stuck in those buildings, right? If they get us, if they get a hawk stuck in there, would it be a mohawk? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's a moa. Moa, listen to you. Hey, bust out the moa. Oh my god, come on. Oh. There's lots to do there. There's movies to see. There's restaurants to eat at. There's shops. And then, of course, there's, you know, the giant. You just named everything that's at the local strip mall, which <laughs> doesn't have 8 billion people inside. Yeah, but they don't, the have, they don't have a whole, what do you call it, you know, uh, amusement park in the middle of their No, they have one shop. across the street. Listen. Anywhere where the snow looks. Now, a lot of people don't know this because you have people all over the world that listen to this. But there's a thing yeah. we have in her area, in my area. I'm from Maine. She's from Minnesota. It's a thing called snow load. Now, uh -huh. snow load, if you can envision, you go, now, there's a lot of rain. A whole lot of rain. Just buckets and buckets of rain coming down every hour. Now, imagine if that rain doesn't go anywhere. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's an awful lot of water to sit in one spot. Okay, now that's what we call snow. It's the water, but like little mini ice cubes of it. Okay, so now you put like eight feet of that on top of, I don't know, a stadium. But a stadium is actually smaller than the Mall of America. So take the stadium and the parking lot and make that under a roof. One flat roof. And then oh, and take, take take four feet of snow and set it on top of that flat roof. Now, what's the tonnage <laughs> up there now? I don't like walking underneath and then going, so some dudes <laughs> built this and hopefully they were paid oh, well yeah. and happy because, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. And then don't forget about the aquarium that you can go through, that you can walk through. That's really cool. I usually go to aquariums when I want to go to the aquarium. I don't like. Oh, yeah, we want to do. Let's go. Let's go to the aquarium. Okay. Well, we're gonna actually go to the mall and then go to. I don't want to go to the mall well, yeah. to the aquarium. <laughs> There's sharks and you know stingrays and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of. It's Think about really that. cool. The mall. I walked through it. It was the fun. Mall. It's the mall. But it was something different to do than just shop. Well, That's just, the whole point. That's the whole point. Why do you want to go to the freaking mall anyway? Talking about cars, not the dang mall. <laughs> You're crazy right? people with the mall of America. The so amazing. It's got a, uh, it's got a shark in it. Uh, people you use, ca it. People really use cars to me. go there. <laughs> you pulled a me. Yeah, you it's, pulled a Mrs. Bomi. It's, contag <laughs> it's contagious, I'm telling you. All right. We'll, we'll come back after break and then we'll uh, get into the whole I'll be quiet and not talk about how stupid the Mall of America is in a moment. Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Quickie with Ms. B. If you missed the first half of the episode, please go back and check that out. And as always, thanks for joining us. And I don't understand why you keep coming back, but I'm glad that you do. <laughs> that sounded convincing. I'm just kidding. Thank you very much for joining us. So we're talking today about crazy cars. Um, this is one of the favorite episodes. All this week, we're going to talk about some of the favorite episodes I went back and digged it. Digged it. I digged it in the library. <laughs> wow, I, won't, wow. I won't. I will not be talking about the Mall of America, so I'll be quiet. <laughs> so, besides the slug bug car, the other one that I wanted to talk about was the push button car, aka the telephone car. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was a ro 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 a rot rotary rotary phone? <laughs> Why I got problems? I don't know. Why I got problems? I don't know. Probably formulating sentences, man, something like that. <laughs> but that was a big red car. Yeah, big red telephone push but That's uh -huh. the bat. That's the bat phone. Yeah. That was crazy how they made it. And they made it look so much like an actual telephone. Oh, yeah. 
And you couldn't see the wheels on the car either. That's the part that freaked me out. It's like, where the heck are the wheels? You couldn't uh, see them. Underneath the phone. They're underneath Batman's cape. Yeah. <laughs> That's where they keep all the wheels. <clears throat> Except for the skateboard wheels. They keep those, <laughs> they keep those in the bar. I liked the banana car, too. <laughs> oh, man. The banana car. Oh, a banana car. You know, it goes whoosh. <laughs> uh, so the banana. Now, I, I wonder if anyone. At, now, if you had to get up on top of the banana car to clean it, you could actually literally say What's that you that? fell off and you slipped on a banana. I'm like, how would you clean the tip of that? Oh, my the God. You mean you know? Oh no! Oh no! No! What do you mean you know? No! 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 Let's go ahead and remove me from this equation, okay? Let's remove John from this equation. I do no, not know. You, yeah, you know the no, tip. No, I don't. No, I do not know anything about the tip. The, t the tippy top, because remember. It had the driver, and then behind the driver was a passenger, another passenger, another passenger, and then it had the top, the tippy top of the banana. What's that called? I don't know. <laughs> I, I assume the tippy top. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you get up there to clean it? I don't know. I guess you climb to the tippy top. <laughs> and if you fall, you can tell the insurance company you slipped on a banana. <laughs> Can you imagine if you never mind? <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. I, I want to thank you for never mind. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Piggy car. <laughs> I oh, love the Lord. piggy car. Oh, that reminds me. I oh, we're sucking you. wind. Oh, no, we're sucking wind. Now we're okay. in trouble. You know, either today is my day or I'm going to do errands. And you know that store that I always talk about that has the big cock rooster? <laughs> yes, I, I, I am familiar. You've sent me pictures on my phone of giant the roosters. She sold all of them. So in place of where the cocks used to stand, she put a pig. <laughs> a big pig. Pink. Okay. Yes, I want the pig. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least we've moved on from to <laughs> pigs now. Okay. But anyways, the pig car. The pig car was really cool. And I think that was the one that I said was the hatchback. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> I think it would, I think it would, wouldn't it literally be a hatch butt? <laughs> Oh yeah, it would be the hatch yeah. butt. Yeah. Would you you pull the pig's tail to make it go up? I the hatch. Assume, I assume, yeah. <laughs> there's a few things. There, there's a few things that happen right by that tail, and I think maybe you might call that a hatch butt. <laughs> Is it a four door? No, it's a hatch butt. Man, can you imagine though? Like, what if your car stunk on the inside, and you open up the back of the car, and it's a hat? You open up the hatch butt. Oh. You. <laughs> if I had that car, I would have to have someone drill a hole under the tail, put a special <laughs> apparatus in there, so I, could, so I could so I could fill it up with a little, you know, uh, Jello pudding. <laughs> As I'm driving down the road, share the Jello pudding with people. <laughs> Oh, that would be so funny and bad. <laughs> oh, what's all over the windshield? Oh, what is that? Oh, my, it's coming out of the pig. It's coming out of the pig. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's Jello pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Have a few little dribbles as it's going down the piggy uh, butt. Yeah. <laughs> you, can make, you can make bad things worse. That's, uh, yeah. Of course I can. <laughs> it's a skill. And... 
let's not forget about the one that I got really excited about, the turtle car. <laughs> oh, yes. The oxymoron. <laughs> we got to get there quick. Let's take the turtle car. No, let's not. <laughs> don't you have a rabbit car? A Volkswagen rabbit, like maybe? That was a pretty amazing paint job on that car, I have to say, because the turtle shell that they they painted on the hood of the car, obviously, to make it look like part of the turtle shell. They did a really good job with that. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah. of course, yeah, that was cool. But the best, I say for last. I have a funny you feeling the Frank. I have a funny feeling the Frankfurter's coming. <laughs> the wiener car. <laughs> Yeah, the wiener car. <laughs> the disproportional wiener car. <laughs> of course, the guy has to make the wiener disproportional. <laughs> well, he had too much sticking out in the front. Yeah, we forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he crashed that car, that's oh, can you imagine what the police report would say? <laughs> <clears throat> There's a giant dent in your car from a, a wiener. <laughs> giant dent in your hind end from the wiener car. <laughs> you were just rear-ended by a wiener. <laughs> Boy, you wouldn't even be able to write that down. You know, the cop just wouldn't be able to. I can't hear you take the report. <laughs> what happened? Look. What, what do you see? He was rear-ended. By what? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You write it down. <laughs> We're here at the scene of an accident. What happened here? I'm not going to say that on the air. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this person was rear-ended by this person. Where's the, where, is, that, is that a wiener? <laughs> Did you get rear-ended by a wiener? Mobile? <laughs> oh, hot dog. I think we need some. Can, get you, imagine some calling, can you imagine calling your insurance company? Am, am, <clears throat> I, am I covered if I got rear-ended by a wiener? <laughs> <laughs> it did have hot dog. Or the hot dog did have ketchup and mustard on it, too. What the hell has that got to do with anything? <laughs> I was hit by a wiener, officer. I can hear you now. Where'd it go? Hey, there's a drive-by weenie. <laughs> but I can tell you it had condiments on it. Yeah, it gets a bit mustard. He left the condiments as evidence. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of, you know, weenies driving around. So why don't you guys go out there and get him? Be on the lookout for a giant weenie. <laughs> the tip might be broken off. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Trying to get the tip back on. I mean, to uh, make it line up perfectly because what? It, oh boy, it could. It would. Oh yeah, that would gonna, be a disaster. You're gonna need a surgeon for that. <laughs> That's for sure. Instead of a plastic surgeon, you need a fiberglass surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Would you be driving in the wiener car? No. Do it, would you be seen in the wiener car? That wouldn't bother me, but I wouldn't want to drive the winning car because you know what I spend the rest of my life doing every time I was driving that? People just run up and want to take a picture with you in front of your wiener. <laughs> well, yeah, but see, if it was me, I'd be like, don't touch my wiener. <laughs> Gee, how did I know you'd say that? <laughs> oh, my heavens. Uh, on that note, I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's go get some hot dogs. 